So what is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a virus that attacks the breathing system in humans. And the breathing system, otherwise known as the respiratory system, is your mouth, your nose, your throat, and your lungs. And there's two main ways that the virus will enter the body. Uh, the first way is where a virus is on a respiratory droplet that's in the air. And you would breathe in that respiratory droplet through your nose or your mouth, and then it lands on your healthy cells and what we call mucosal cells. And those are cells that are in your throat and your mouth or your nose, and even in your lungs. When that virus lands on those healthy cells, it invades them and takes control and then starts reproducing rapidly. And then the virus invades further down deep into the lungs. The other way for the virus to get into the body is if we touch something like a doorknob or a keyboard, and then we then touch our mouth or rub our nose. And now we have just inoculated ourselves with that virus particle. And it does the same type of invasion that it would have done if you breathed in the particle. Because the virus affects the respiratory or breathing system, it causes symptoms um, of the breathing system, such as sore throat, cough, shortness of breath, um, maybe a difficulty of smell or taste, you know, with the nose being part of the respiratory system, and then in more severe cases, pneumonia. I want you to remember three things about social distancing. One is people. When you're going into a situation or a room, remember the number of people who are there. The, the larger the number, and the, the more potential you have of contracting the illness. Two, A, airflow. Is there a lot of airflow, ventilation going through that particular building or not? The less the ventilation, the less the airflow, the more chance they have of contracting the illness. And three, time. If you're going to be there for two hours, you're more likely to contract the illness versus 15 minutes or five minutes where you're less likely to contract the illness. So consider those three things, people, airflow, and time, PAT, when you go out and about and you start mingling with more people in the community. COVID-19 is spread in situations where a lot of individuals were in a restaurant eating at a crowded table. There was poor ventilation. They were there for over two and a half hours. They have done studies that have shown that several people in that restaurant, including those not in the, the, the party, contracted the illness. Whereas individuals who are more in outdoor settings, casually going by each other or in a grocery store for that matter, where there's barely good ventilation, it's not a crowded room and not a lot of people there, they're much less likely to contract the illness in that setting. But if there's any setting where there's just tons of people, it's crowded, the air is kind of stale or not well ventilated, and you're there for a long time, you're much more likely to uh, contract the illness. It's a formula, it's dose of virus and time. An individual who has the illness can spread 200 million particles in a cough or a sneeze, and it only takes about a thousand particles to get sick if you inhale it.